The Spinosaurus was a dinosaur that roamed the Earth almost 100 million years ago. It was a fearsome-looking beast and thought to be the longest known carnivore the world has ever seen. It weighed up to 8 tons and grew up to 14 meters or 46 feet long. Its sharp teeth filled its narrow, crocodile-like head and along its back was a long sail or spine. Bony protrusions from its spine pointed upwards, more than 1.6 meters or 5 feet long. These were thought to be joined together by skin, creating a sail that ran the length of its back. Although some scientists believe it was covered in a layer of fat, much like that of a camel's hump, rather than skin. Spinosaurus likely walked on its hind legs with two shorter front legs, in a similar stance to the well-known T-Rex. However, it may have also walked on all fours on occasion. Its body ended in a long tail which had a flattened, paddle-like structure, thought to help propel the dinosaur through the water. Scientists believe that this dinosaur was semi-aquatic, with the ability to dive below the water's surface to catch its prey. The Spinosaurus became extinct around 90 million years ago, but if it was resurrected, could it survive today? A lot has changed over the past 100 million years or so, and the world which Spinosaurus lived in was very different from today. Even so, if we look at the dinosaur's diet, habitat, and the environment it was used to, then we can determine whether it would survive nowadays. Firstly, diet. Scientists believe that Spinosaurus fed primarily on fish. Partially digested fish scales have been found in the stomach region of fossilized remains of Spinosaurus. There has been debate as to the use of Spinosaurus's large dorsal sail, but some speculate that it may have been used in capturing its prey. In a similar way to today's sailfish, Spinosaurus may have used its sail to herd schools of fish into a tight ball before capturing them in their jaws. It may have used its tail to thrash at the fish, temporarily stunning them, much as thresher sharks do. The sail would have acted like a centerboard to counteract the sideways motion of the tail as it thrashed about. The Spinosaurus was a generalist and opportunistic predator. Although it largely ate fish, it also predated on other small and medium-sized animals. A Spinosaurus tooth was found embedded in a Pterosaurus's bone, suggesting that they may have eaten these flying reptiles as well. Its semi-aquatic lifestyle lent itself to hunting in freshwater, swamps, and possibly even coastal regions. The size and shape of the snout meant that it may have extensive sensory capabilities, allowing it to detect movement within the water, perhaps whilst its body remained submerged and concealed. Some studies have found their bones to be dense, which would help them to swim underwater in pursuit of prey. But some believe that Spinosaurus was much more of a land hunter, only hunting in the shadows or on the water's surface. Its lung placement likely meant that it could not dive or submerge itself like the crocodiles. These two contrasting views are widely debated. However, whether it was more of a land hunter or a water hunter, the semi-aquatic Spinosaurus had lightning-fast jaw speed, capable of snapping its jaw shut around its prey rather than slowly crushing it. If it was alive today, it would probably occupy a similar niche to today's crocodiles and alligators. It may even compete with them for space, territory, and food. Just as crocodiles eat fish, small mammals, and reptiles, such as turtles, Spinosaurus would do the same. Aquatic life during the Cretaceous period was thriving. In the oceans, Mosasaurus, Plesiosaurs, and modern-day sharks appeared. Less is known about the freshwater habitats, but fish were likely to have been abundant. No one knows how much Spinosaurus ate, but with such a huge body size, it may have needed to hunt large prey and often. Crocodiles can go months without feeding, but when they eat, they can consume as much as half their body weight in one sitting. It's probable that Spinosaurus preyed upon huge freshwater fish found in its river ecosystems. However, there may not be enough food for a population of Spinosaurus to thrive in today's world. Overfishing and pollution of our waterways are decimating fish populations and have a knock-on effect throughout the food chain. Furthermore, more than half of today's crocodilians are under threat of extinction due to loss of habitat, hunting, bycatch and fishing gear, and damming of rivers. So, food may not be available for Spinosaurus to thrive today. But what about other aspects of life? Let's consider the Spinosaurus's habitat and the climate in which it lived. 
Understanding this could help us determine whether it could survive on Earth today. Most fossilized evidence of Spinosaurus comes from what is now Northern Africa, mostly Egypt and Morocco. It lived on tidal flats, amongst mangrove swamps, and alongside inland lakes and rivers. The temperature of the Earth was a lot hotter during the late Cretaceous than it is today. During the hottest times of the year, rivers and lakes would have dried up. Spinosaurus would have changed its hunting strategy to take down land-based prey during these times. By the end of the Cretaceous period, most of today's continents had split away and were in a similar position that they're in today. There were high rates of seafloor spreading, which resulted in a large amount of volcanism. This created a warmer and more humid environment than today, with very few ice sheets and glaciers at the poles, except on high mountains. The formation of mid-oceanic ridges caused the sea levels to rise by as much as 250 meters higher than they are today. Temperate conditions extended to the poles, and much of the north was under a tropical and subtropical climate. There would likely be some suitable waterways around today for Spinosaurus to inhabit. They may compete with crocodiles in North Africa for territory, though. The Nile crocodile is the largest in Africa and is found in the Nile throughout Egypt. But it would be no match for the enormous Spinosaurus. Fish stocks would take a hit if a large predator was introduced to the ecosystem. There has been speculation about the Spinosaurus's fin-shaped dorsal spine. As previously mentioned, it may have been used in hunting within the water, but it also could have been used as an elaborate display for mating rites. Others have suggested that it could have been used to help with thermoregulation. By increasing the surface area, it would have allowed more heat to dissipate, cooling the animal down. Or it could have been used to absorb more heat in cooler temperatures. If it was used to regulate the body temperature, then it could be assumed that the dinosaur could survive in a range of temperatures. However, we don't believe the climate would be suitable. The late Cretaceous was considerably warmer than it is today. There was little difference between annual seasons, and the environment was much more humid. There was more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, as it was released from weathered carboniferous rock, creating a greenhouse effect. Fossils have revealed wide tree rings near northern latitudes and a high density of tree cover. Alaska had vast swamps, and winter temperatures in Siberia's Arctic Circle got as low as 6 degrees Celsius, compared to minus 37 today. Where there are currently barren snowfields and tundra in Siberia, there was plant life for much of the year throughout the Cretaceous. All this evidence suggests that the conditions near the poles were warmer and wetter. Nearer to the equator, conifers were suggesting the equator was drier. These conditions are opposite from today. Placental mammals evolved during the late Cretaceous, ready to take over the planet after the dinosaurs' imminent extinction. But Spinosaurus became extinct before the mass extinction of the dinosaurs. In fact, about 30 million years before T. rex existed. It is believed that Spinosaurus died out due to extreme drought because they were so reliant on water and swamps for their survival. With such a difference in climate and possibly not enough food to eat, we don't believe Spinosaurus could survive nowadays. The Earth's climate has been through so many cycles and variations over the millennia that animals have adapted to the era in which they evolved. Only some species, like some crocodilians and some sharks, have miraculously survived relatively unchanged for tens of millions of years, which is a remarkable feat for any animal. That's all for today! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.